I use carbide burrs all the time. It's a great tool to have in this shop. The question is, is that $300 burr set any better than the one that cost under $30? Let's find out. In the first test, we'll see how quickly the burrs cut through a bolt. Then we'll see which burr has the best tip geometry and sharpness. Then we'll see if the burrs are tough enough to handle tool steel. At a price of $28 for five burr bits, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Kang Tier. All the bits we'll be testing have a quarter inch shank. It claims to replace grinding wheel without all the dust. The sizes we'll be testing are the SA5 and the SF5. Both are half inch in diameter. High product quality, high finish, and can process various high precision mold cavities. 10 times higher efficiency than small wheel stock. The Kang Tier is made in China. The Kang Tier weighs 39.43 grams. In the first test, we'll see how the burst perform cutting through some quarter inch grade eight bolts using this tester I put together. Everything moves nice and smoothly, and I've already done quite a bit of testing to figure out the right pressure. Using a rope and pulley system, we'll first test with five pounds of pulling force. I'll replace the battery in the die grinder with a fully charged battery between testing each of the brands. And the Kang Tier is off to a pretty slow start as the cutting teeth just don't seem to be very sharp. I'll go ahead and use some time lapse since this is going to take a while. And the Kang Tier finally finished the job at right at 55 seconds. Unfortunately, the Kang Tier burr experienced quite a bit of damage to the cutting teeth and the teeth are just pretty dull. At a price of $36 or $4.50 per bit is this Ufuto brand. Made of heat treated tungsten carbide with the hardness of HRC70. Excellent for use with deburring, grinding, cylinder head porting, and sculpting. The Ufuto brand is made in China. Under the microscope, the teeth on the Ufuto look a lot sharper than the Kang Tears teeth. The Ufuto is quite a bit heavier at 53.08 grams. And the Ufuto is making a lot faster progress at shredding the bolt. And the Ufuto is about three times as fast as the Kang Tear at 17.54 seconds. And the Ufuto held up quite a bit better than the Kang Tear with one pretty large chip, but the rest of the teeth are still pretty sharp. At a price of $40 for 10 bits or only $4 each is this Gestuous brand. The 10 piece set includes five half inch burrs and five quarter inch burrs. Machined from 100% new raw tungsten carbide. It claims to have a unique tooth design that prevents tooth chipping. We're gonna test that. The Gestuous brand is made in China. The Gestuous weighs 48.26 grams. Just like the Ufuto, the Gestuous is off to a pretty quick start and is making very good progress. And the Gestuous is one second slower than the Ufuto at 18.5 seconds. And the Gestuous seems to have held up slightly better than the Ufuto with a small amount of tooth doling but no large tooth chips. At a price of $57 or just over $7 per bit is this Astro Pneumatic brand. It claims to be the source for the industry's best selling carbide bit burrs. It claims their tooth design is the longest lasting design possible. Made from 100% new raw tungsten carbide. For first metals up to 30,000 RPM. The Astro Pneumatic brand is made in China. The Astro Pneumatic weighs 48.32 grams. And the Astro Pneumatic costs $17 more than the Gestuous, but it doesn't seem to be cutting quite as fast. And the Astro Pneumatic needed nearly twice as long as the Ufuto and the Gestuous at 31.7 seconds. Unfortunately, the Astro Pneumatic did experience slightly more doling and chipping than the Ufuto and the Gestuous. At a price of $70 or $10 each is this Osidu brand. Just like several of the other brands, it claims to have the longest lasting design. Machined from tungsten carbide. Very high quality tooth design. High quality finish that can produce excellent results. The Osidu brand is made in China. The Osidu weighs 44.12 grams. And the $70 set of burrs made by Osidu just aren't cutting as fast as the Ufuto and the Gestuous. And the Osidu took nearly as long as the Astro Pneumatic to finish the job at 26.1 seconds. And the Osudu experienced more tooth chipping and doling than the Gestuous, but is still in pretty good shape. At a price of $98 for 10 bits, or just under $10 each, is this Kodiak brand. Check out the label on the front of the box. Not for medical or dental use. The USA-made Kodiak brand claims to be made from premium carbide. It includes a fitted wood block stand. The sizes range from a quarter inch all the way up to a half inch in diameter. Just like the other brands, the Kodiak includes a quarter inch shank. The Kodiak brand is made in USA. The Kodiak is the heaviest yet at 55.53 grams. And the Kodiak just doesn't seem to be cutting quite as fast as the Ufuto. And the Kodiak needed about the same amount of time as the Osidu at 27.7 seconds. While the Kodiak doesn't cut as fast as some of the less expensive brands, it did hold up very well with a very small amount of wear. At a price of $137 for 8 bits, or about $17 per bit, is this Grobit brand. Grobit has a design that provides a finer finish on material and reduces the size of chips. They claim their brand outlasts the competition. The design of the burrs provides better tool control. The Grobit brand is made in USA. The Grobit weighs 53.47 grams. The teeth on the Grobit are extremely sharp and five pounds of pressure was definitely more than necessary. With too much pressure, the burr can grab and that can cause damage to the burr. And the burr completely shredded the bolt in 11.6 seconds, the fastest time yet. Very impressive. And the Grobit did experience one chipped tooth, but the teeth are still in very good shape. 
At a price of $182 for eight burrs, or about $22.75 each, is this Cleline brand. The other burrs we'll be testing are double cut. The Cleline is just a single cut setup. The Cleline brand is made in USA. The Cleline weighs 55.21 grams. Just like it was for the Grobit, five pounds was a little bit too much pressure for the Klee line, causing the extremely sharp teeth to grab several times. And the Klee line is the fastest yet at 9.8 seconds. Very impressive. And the Klee line held up very well. The burr is extremely sharp and there's just a couple of very small chips. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $317 for eight bits or about $40 each is this Champion brand. Very nice carrying case with a size chart. The burrs ferrous metals such as steel, stainless steel, and cast iron. Double cut flutes for efficient material removal. Titanium nitride coated for enhanced tool performance and increased tool life. It claims to offer vibration free performance. We're gonna test that. The Champion brand is made in USA. And the Champion is the heaviest one yet at 55.71 grams. Just like the Grobit and the Klee line, the Champion is off to a very fast start. And five pounds seems to be a little bit too much pressure for the Champion as well as it grabbed a couple of times midway through the bolt. 13.7 seconds to move into third place behind the Grobit. And the Champion held up really well with no visible chips or doling. Very impressive. Let's see if weight really makes a difference when it comes to durability and performance. The US made burrs are heavier than those that are imported. So the Klee line, which uses a single cut design, made the fastest work of the bolt at 9.8 seconds. The Grobit was nearly as fast as 11.6, Champion 13.7, Ufutal 17.5, and Gestuous 18.5 seconds. While cutting speed is a huge factor in productivity, durability is another factor to consider. While assessing wear is subjective, the Champion definitely seems to perform the best with a wear rating of zero. The Grobit and the Klee line performed nearly as well with a rating of one. Gestuous and Kodiak also performed well with a rating of two. Let's use a drill press in the next test. To make sure all the burrs have the same amount of downward force applied, I've attached a wheel to the lever arms on the drill press. I'll be attaching a rope as well as 3.5 five pounds of weight to the wheel. The RPM is set to 3,100. The SF5 burr is angled and has a slightly different tooth design than the SA5. So let's see how each of the brands compare cutting a notch in this 5 16 inch mild steel. The tip of the burr has a slight offset from the edge of the steel. The two clamps will help keep the metal position equally off center when shifting things around between tests. And the Kang Tier got off to a pretty decent start at 12.5 seconds. The Kang Tier did experience quite a bit of wear and tear. The Ufutal really struggled at the start of the test as tooth geometry and sharpness are a factor. About midway through the test, the Ufutal really gained a lot of speed and made quick progress during the last few seconds of the test, 18.05 seconds. And the Ufutal held up quite a bit better than the Kang Tier with a small amount of damage. And the Gestuous is making even slower progress than the Ufutal during the first part of the test. The tooth sharpness and tooth geometry just aren't the best for this test. And the Gestuous finally finished the job at 21.8 seconds. The Gestuous also seems to have a little bit less wear and tear than the Ufutal. And the Astro Pneumatic got off to a much faster start than the Ufutal and the Gestuous. And the Astro Pneumatic shredded the steel nearly twice as fast as the Ufutal at 9.8 seconds. The Astro Pneumatic has a little bit more wear and tear compared to the Gestuous. Just like the Astro Pneumatic, the Osidu is off to a pretty quick start. And the Osidu really began to accelerate midway through the task and finished the job at 13.4 seconds. Unfortunately, the Osidu did experience quite a bit of damage. And the Kodiak has a little bit more of a cone shape compared to an oval like the other brands. And the Kodiak shredded the steel in only 7 seconds. Very impressive. And the Kodiak held up extremely well with just a very small amount of wear. And the Grobit isn't nearly as quick off the line as the Kodiak, but it's still making pretty quick progress. And the Grobit finished the job in 12.2 seconds, or about a second faster than the Yosidu. Just like the Kodiak, the Grobit also held up extremely well. The single cut design of the Klee line really helped in the first test and is performing very well in this test too. And the Kleeline finished the job in 10.8 seconds. Just like the Kodiak and the Grobit, the Kleeline also held up extremely well. The Champion is off to a decent start and maintain a steady pace throughout the cut. And the Champion finished the job in 11.9 seconds. And the Champion held up extremely well with very little visible wear. So the Kodiak finished in first at 7 seconds. The Astro Pneumatic also performed very well at 9.8, Kleeline 10.8, Champion 11.9, and Grobit 12.2 seconds. While assessing wear is subjective, the Kodiak, Grobit, Kleeline, and Champion held up very well with a rating of 1. The Gestuous held up nearly as well with a rating of 2. A grade 8 bolt is very hard, but not nearly as hard as an Allen key, which is made of very hard tool steel. All the Allen keys are 3 16 of an inch and made by the same brand. With 5 pounds of pressure just like the first test, the Kangster is off to a pretty slow start and the Kangster ate right through the Allen key in 42.1 seconds.
Unfortunately, there's some chipping on the teeth and the teeth just aren't very sharp. Just like in the first test, the Yufutal is performing quite a bit better than the Kang tier. And the Yufutal carved a path right through the Allen key in 30.3 seconds to take the lead. Unfortunately, the Yufutal has quite a bit of damage to several teeth. The Gestuous performed about the same as the Yufutal in the first round, but experienced less damage during the test. And the Gestuous performed better than the Yufutal this time and moves into the lead at 29.5 seconds. The Gestuous also held up a lot better than the Yufutal with only three chipped teeth. The Astro Pneumatic was pretty slow in the first round of testing and is pretty slow in this round too at 35.25 seconds to move into third place just ahead of the Kang tier. The teeth also experienced quite a bit of chipping during the test. The Osiru was a little bit slow grinding through the quarter inch bolt and it barely outperformed the Gestuous at cutting through the Allen key at 29.2 seconds. Unfortunately, the Osiru did experience quite a bit of damage. And the Kodiak took longer than average to cut through the bolt in the first test and is taking longer than average on the Allen key as well, 34.3 seconds. While the Kodiak doesn't cut as fast as some of the less expensive brands, it did hold up very well with a very small amount of wear. The Grobit made very quick work of the bolt in the first round and it blasted through the Allen key nearly twice as fast as the other brands at only 16.9 seconds, very impressive. And the teeth on the Grobit are still extremely sharp and are in better shape than all the previous brands. The Klee line came in on top, cutting through the bolt in the first test, but the hardened steel slowed it down a little in this test. 27.1 seconds is good enough to move into second position, and the teeth on the Klee line are still in very good condition. The champion finished in third at cutting through the bolt in the first round, and the champion is nearly as fast as the Grobit in this test at 17.9 seconds, and the teeth are still in very good condition. So the Grobit Burr made the quickest work of the Allen key at 16.9 seconds. Champion is nearly as fast at 17.9 seconds. Cleline 27.1, Osidu 29.2, and Gestuous 29.5 seconds. The Allen keys really put the Burrs to the test, and the Grobit and the Champion held up the best with the rating of 1. The Gestuous and Cleline also held up very well with the rating of 2. SC5 Burrs are great for milling and contouring, and it really helps if the tip of the Burr is properly designed for removing material. So let's test tooth geometry and sharpness and chip removal next using some AR400, which is some really hard steel. I'll use some cutting oil and I'll slow down the RPM to 250 so we don't destroy the burrs. I'll also apply 10 pounds of weight. With the leverage advantage of the drill press, the burr will have right at 70 pounds of downward force. The test will last right at 30 seconds and then we'll see how much progress is made. And the tip geometry and the sharpness of the Kang tier seem to be a problem for the Kang tier as it's just not removing very much material. I used a microscope to get a very precise measurement of the diameter for each crater. And the Kang tier made a crater that's right at 4.96 millimeters in diameter. And the Kang tier experienced a small chip and the teeth experienced some dulling. Just like the Kang tier, the Yufutal is struggling to make a dent in the AR400. The crater made by the Kang tier is on the bottom and the Yufutal is on the top. 3.71 millimeters for the Yufutal. The tip of the burr did experience some doling, however, the Yufutal's tip just doesn't seem to be well designed for material removal. And the Gestuous seems to be making a lot more progress than the Kang tier and the Yufutal. And the Gestuous takes the lead from the Kang tier at 6.02 millimeters. And the Gestuous also held up a lot better with only minor wear and tear. And the Astro Pneumatic seems to be making even better progress than the Gestuous with metal shavings pouring out and around the tip of the burr. And the Astro Pneumatic burr moves into the lead at 6.45 millimeters. The Astro Pneumatic did experience a small amount of wear. And the Asidu went to work in a hurry and made a pretty decent sized pile of shavings. And the Asidu moves into the lead at 7.25 millimeters. The burr experienced about the same amount of wear as the Astro Pneumatic. Just like the Osidu, the Kodiak isn't wasting any time with the AR400 and the Kodiak is making a pretty large pile of shavings. And the Kodiak moves into the lead at 8.21 millimeters, which is nearly a full millimeter larger than the Osidu. Very impressive. And the Kodiak held up really well with only minor wear and tear. And the Grobit performed very well in the other tests, but it really struggled in this one, just not making very much progress. 3.21 millimeters. However, the Grobit did hold up really well with very little visible wear. Just like the Kodiak, the Klee line is making very good progress and made a pretty large pile of shavings. 8.25 millimeters is barely enough to take the lead from the Kodiak. And the Klee line held up very well with very little visible wear. And the Champion seems to be cutting just as fast as the Kodiak and the Klee line. And it's extremely close, but the Champion moves into third place at 8.19 millimeters. The Champion is still in very good condition. 
So the Cleline finished in first at 8.25 millimeters. However, the Kodiak and the Champion performed nearly as well at 8.21 and 8.19 millimeters, respectively. The Osidu finished in fourth at 7.25 millimeters and Astro Pneumatic 6.45. Once again, the U.S. made burrs held up quite a bit better than the imports with a wear rating of one. So we've tested the performance of three styles of burrs cutting from three different positions. Taking the average of all the tests, the Cleline came in on top with the best average finish at two. The Champion also performed very well with an average finish of three, Kodiak and Grobit tied for third place at 4.3, and Osidu 5.3. While initial performance is very important, durability is another factor to consider, and the Champion had an average wear rating of 0.75. Grobit had an average wear rating of 1, Cleline 1.25, Kodiak 1.75, and Gestuous 2. I don't say it often enough, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that supports the channel in any capacity. It helps me provide unbiased reviews and say no to all sponsorship opportunities. It really helps when I can just buy everything that's needed for the testing. So thanks again for your support. Regarding the burrs, the Cleline and Champion, as well as Grobit, performed extremely well, but they are pretty expensive. If you're looking for an affordable set of burrs, I really like the Gestuous. They performed extremely well. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.